It is stuffy as hell here in Arizona. It is a Friday night, but that does not stop us from the grind. We just uploaded to the grave. We are working on our first comment section based suggestion by Mr. John Martineau of uh, the song No One Should Read This by Tala. And Mental Cruelty just released their new title track for their new album, A, A Hill to Die Upon. I forgot the date it's releasing, but to say the least, if y'all want, I'll go ahead and put the pre-order links down below. Go check out the original video, of course. The The music does not belong to me by any means necessary, but we are planning to do reaction videos just like this every day to songs that you guys suggest or songs that I just want to catch up on because there is so much music that I listen to. The last I checked, according to Spotify, I listened to 651 artists actively and the number keeps on growing. Y'all suggest bands to me. Suggest music that you like, suggest music that you are stupid passionate about, and I will react to it. I will be in the beginning moments, the first impression of the music with you, because that's what this channel is for. It's for music enthusiasts, music lovers, music makers, and other artists, to say the least. But, speaking of art, we will be doing graphic art commission time lapses eventually. We ran into a little bit of a curb, and the resources, the equipment, the device, the tablet that I mentioned in my vlog earlier this week, it came in and it was faulty. So I sent it back and we're going to rethink the strategy and probably go buy it in person. And then we will start on the graphic art commission time lapses. But I'm really excited about that. The Anatomy, the Anatomy podcast this weekend, our guests will be Kyle and Brandon of the Stygian Complex from North Carolina. So... Be sure to uh, stay tuned for that because I'm, I can only assume that we got most of the kinks worked out after about a week straight of not knowing what to do. And therefore, the podcast will probably be up on Monday, but we'll see what happens. Also, we will be making original music content eventually. I love how I'm recycling the word eventually. But we hope to make music as soon as possible, and then there will be covers for songs to kind of warm up and season myself as a musician as I migrate into the path of writing my own music and not just lyrics. So that should be really fun, but this is gonna be Mental Cruelties A Hill To Die Upon. Enjoy. I for this. I actually get to react to them now. And see, now the, vo now the logo looks really cool. is a good place to stop or a good place to pause this is sounding really cool this is sounding as blackened as they are what they were wanting it to be to say the least and therefore i'm more excited for the rest of the album to come out we already had the track ultima hypocritica which that was really cool and the solo on that was really awesome and i have to admit like speaking from a graphic art design standpoint not that i'm a professional by any means necessary but like their their new logo, it's cool. But like the older logo for the the mental cruelty fans who have been around for a pretty long time, I like the horizontal one. But that's to say, this song is amazing. So let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> Yeah. 
that might be a decent place to stop. I'm kind of bad at doing that, I will admit. So I'm going to work on <laughs> improving that in the future. But I, I think the only thing I'm not into with this, as much as I loved Blast Beats and all the other fun stuff, I think the only thing I'm not into is like how consistent the chaos is, I guess. But yet again, I just did a reaction for Tala, and I love that shit. So, who knows? Maybe this, I'm just not vibing with the song, but let's continue. <laughs> interesting song and the thing is there have been numerous occasions before with the collection and pernicious for those who know signs of the swarm the first time i no no, no okay malevolent enslavement and the collection the thing with deathcore and especially the more recent subgenres of deathcore i guess you can say it gets it's complicated enough to where at first it's kind of noise to me so don't 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 attack me but then i give it like let's say three more listens even two more even one more sometimes and then i'm like oh okay i get it now and i get how everything's supposed to flow and therefore i understand how it's made and how it's supposed to run where there's kind of the breaks kind of the pauses but like right now i gotta admit it's it's kind of just chaos to me right now but i'm sure that's what blackened death metal was back in the day so that's okay and therefore let's finish off the song
Okay. All right. Yeah. About that unique leader stuff. So that was the title track for Mental Cruelty's sophomore album. No, I think that's their junior album. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But that was A Hill to Die Upon. Again, I will emphasize that it is my first time listening to such a complex, complicated, technical, blackened track. So, I mean, maybe it's because I've just been more used to the more simple chugs in deathcore, slam, black metal, that type of thing. And um, that's why I cling to the kind of basic stuff. But it's it's a working progress, so, so get off my back. And... Um, yeah, the, other than that, it was good, and I've seen Mental Cruelty live. I actually saw them the same night I saw Signs of the Swarm for the first time. And the mic that I currently have in my possession, which was on that entire tour, it was uh, the Disentomb tour with Organectomy, Mental Cruelty, Signs of the Swarm, and a couple others. Um, I, know, uh, I know that I have David's old mic, and Mental Cruelty was really, really good live. I had a decent conversation. And, you know, kind of a short one, to say the least, but with their drummer. Really, really cool dude. Um, I don't know if it's the same drummer, though. It's been a little bit. Yeah, that was back in 2019. It was two years ago. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, that was a really cool track, and I hope to listen to the rest of this. If y'all want me, when the album releases, to listen to the album in its entirety on Spotify, on Twitch. I'll get a Twitch set up. That's what I mentioned in the last video, too. And, um... Yeah, I think that's actually going to wrap it up for the night as far as reactions. We'll see you guys tomorrow.